Okay, so this is a uh, petition on change.org, and I came across this, uh, I think, about maybe a year ago, two years ago, and uh, this this um change has really a lot of, uh, this change um, petition or whatever has a lot of uh, information in here. So the title is Stop False Diagnoses Leading to Forced Psychiatric Detainment to Cover Up Illegal Human Experimentation and Military Training Resulting in Torture. So this is kind of exactly what I'm talking about, that um, these psychiatrists in this, this military are working together, okay? Psychiatry, military, and these uh, reptilians, these uh, entities, they're all working in the government, and those are the top three that are involved in this gang stalking, okay? So um, this um, has a lot of information here. So it's saying these for false and forced detention based um, on fraudulent diagnosis are being used to isolate, silent, and ruin the credibility of targets of these cruel and illegal programs. So basically, um, these diagnoses create a doubt of the victim statements of abuse by these nano and other military medical technologies. Such as false and invalid diagnoses are also used to cloak non-consensual human experimentation, testing, and evaluation of various programs and other crimes against humanity. Now, let me tell you something. Now, through all the abductions I had gone through and all this stuff, all that, that was all during the time that I was on psychotropic medications. I was on Seroquel. I was put on a bill. If I even had one crazy psychiatrist, uh, look up this woman's name is Dr. Julia Lamb back in California. Oh, she has a two star review because of all the shit. She, she actually, my mom had me seeing this psychiatrist and this psychiatrist, every single time I came in every week, she was giving me like a new medication each time I came in. So basically I even had, uh, it, it just was like, wow, I was getting side effects, like all this kind of stuff. And then, um, at the same time during all that was happening, I was being used, tested on by the military the AKA shadow government reptilians. So this article here, this, um, whatever this person, this has a lot of truth in here. You know, they're here, they're talking about, uh, Mr. Assange has been de deliberately exposed for a period of several years to progressively severe forms of cruel, inhuman or degrading punish, um, treatment or punishment. The cumulative effects of which can only be described as psychological torture. So basically, these psychiatrists, all that they work in is psychological torture, and that's their goal. That's that's what a lot of them are doing, is they're doing psychological torture, because all of these disease, all these mental illnesses are fictitious, they're made up, there is no blood test to test, oh, hey, you're bipolar, oh, hey, you're depressed, or whatever, it's all fake, it's all lies. Basically, it's just a, it's just a method of control, to lock someone up, to ruin their life, and, and do experiments, do all kind of shit. So this is the thing that I'm talking about that a lot of uh, women that have been put in this alien human hybrid breeding program have been put into this here. Okay. You've been put into this uh, program. And as for men, men who have been, um, that are abductees, you most likely have been put in the same type of uh, program where they put these psychiatric medications, label you crazy, all this kind of shit. Because that's because they want to be able to get away with being able to abduct you and do these experiments on you. And yep. And then it's like, oh, hey, if you talk, hey, look, this happened to me. The government did this. There are these reptilians, this and that. Oh, you're crazy. That shit's not real. It's all a design and totally coordinated plan to discredit you basically to discredit anybody. So patents for military technology have been identified as a cause of many claims of psychological, physical, and emotional harassment. Thousands of people in the United States of America are reported to be targets of the military training missions and government research and contractors for remote neuro monitoring, monitoring, neuro warfare and behavior influence technology via the use of directed energy weapons and electronic harassment. A significant percentage of these people have been forcefully admitted to mental institutions and psychiatric hospitals as a result of filing complaints of such harassment. So basically, if you go ahead and talk about this gang stalking and talk about what's going on, which is exactly what I'm going through now that I'm telling people, hey, look, I'm being gang stalked. Every time I talk to someone that about how I'm being gang stalked, they start to say, oh, are you crazy? Oh, I think it's in your head. So they're really now trying to do this shit on me now, trying to really label, oh, she's crazy because she's saying she's being gang stalked and this and that. And, oh, that's not happening. And, oh, she's paranoid. You know, but mostly part of my mother and grandmother and family working with this 
Because my grandmother is mentally, fully mentally ill. She actually got licensed as a marriage family therapist, but I actually helped her even pass the test. But the thing is, my grandmother's so mentally ill, her house is hoarded. Like she's, she has a refrigerator full of rotten food that actually the food's been in there for about two years. She's a classic hoarder of one of those people that you'd see on the show hoarders with a bunch of stuff in their house. But she thinks that she doesn't have a mental illness and she has been working to frame me as mentally ill and, and, and doing all this shit. She's, she's a big part of all this. So, you know, these false diagnoses are, are used a lot. So false, false diagnoses have been used to label the victim of schizophrenia and or dis delusional disorders. Okay. I'm just taking a sip of my tea for a minute. Hold on there. So basically, uh, so there's a little more info, info here. Some of the victims found that their mothers were also victimized by some psychological system that can now be attributed to use of this technology on them. Note, few victims have reported their fathers were ever hospitalized or treated for any symptoms of mental illness due to this harassment, which validates that 75% of those targeted are women. This confirms the excessive use. This confirms the excessive use of women in these cruel, inhumane, and degrading experiments and tests. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. That this is mostly being done to women. Okay, that are being put into this alien human hybrid breeding program. These, these are. This is exactly what has all been done to me. These cruel, inhumane, and degrading ex uh, experiments and tests. Yep. All this. All this. Okay, so uh, they're doing um, many sources of testing, MRI, FRI, blah, 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 testing of the blood is available today to uh, aid in the identification of a specific mental illness and to rule out chemical imbalances or diseases in the brain. Yet most of the victims will tell you that a stigmatizing diagnosis of mental illness was made after a verbal conversation with a psychiatrist, psychologist, or other medical professional. Sometimes this would have been just a crisis team representative at a hospital emergency room or by a mental health center intake worker. Most victims of mental health uh, misdiagnosis have been implanted without their per uh, permission, which is alluded to in Senator Glenn's bill that was presented to Congress. This implantation allows for further violation of a person's human right by allowing them to be persecuted by electronic means. Psychotronic is defined as the use of electronics to affect the brain and the mind. Thus, the behavior of the targeted victim can be influenced to mimic a mental illness, allowing for these false diagnoses, even when the medical professional knows about the victimization of the uh, patient. So I'll tell you guys, I was put on a ship. I was abducted. I was implanted by a sicko. But the thing is, these fucking psychiatrists and these fucking reptilians, they're all together. And they're all together on the ship and this fucking military. Those are the three biggest fucking enemies in this, this fucking gang stalking situation. Okay. This whole article, this whole change article is basically explaining everything that has been done to me. And this is why I really am glad I found this article and that this article is still up because this, this is what they've done to me. I have implants in my brain. I have implants in different parts of my body that have been used to trace me and to cause me harm, headaches, all this bullshit, you know? So, uh, this, this is what it really is. And, um, I want you guys to know if you're an abductee, if you're an abductee that, uh, this is, this is what is this, just like it says here, this is, um, criminal elements in our own government as weapons for slow kill torture. That th this is all, this is a slow kill type of torture as well as they figure, Oh, you know what? If we label someone psychiatrically ill, we have every right to do everything we can to even torture and, and, you know, breed a woman with, you know, cause the truth is the government works along with these reptilians and with these aliens. So they make deals and packs. Okay. For, for minerals and different kinds of things on earth. And they're also making deals to, Oh, Hey, you know what? Let's take these American women and we're going to give them to these reptilians and let them be breeding experiments. So we're basically being fucking trafficked for, for profit, for, for, for nothing by the government. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. This, this is sick. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's see, there is, let's see something about a psych. I'm trying to look here about this air force. Let's see, it's also within range of a U.S. air force base, which houses a super secret research facility. We're currently looking at information that espouses the children of per persons employed on that U.S. base 
may be the targets of involuntary experimentation involving direct energy weapons technology. So the Air Force is involved, okay? Air Force, psychologist, psychiatrist, and these fucking reptilians, okay? So these, these um, technologies that use, some of them can even make you hallucinate. You know, it says right here, it can make you hallucinate or make you delusional. These people are innocent, unwitting victims of government experimentation or vicious use of psychotronic technology by military government contractors or other national and international criminals. Now, if you notice, a lot of these people that are using these fucking direct energy weapons, you see them walking around, they're fucking Chinese or Asian, fucking Korean Chinese. And if you notice, all these phones, all these cell phones come from fucking China and Korea. Okay? Look at LG. LG's from South Korea. Okay? So a lot of these fucking people, these illegal aliens are coming in here and they're getting paid money to fucking use this kind of fucking technology on us. And it really pisses me off. It pisses me off every single day. Every single day. You know? Some of the technology can be purchased by private citizens on the commercial uh, market. So a lot of these sickos are walking around with these weapons and they decide, oh, hey, if I see this person, I'm going to use a weapon if I'm jealous or whatever. So these sickos, these non-human entities, you know, this, this is how it's working. Yep. So, um, you know, guys, it, it, this whole thing, it, it goes really deep. It goes deep. And, um... You know, it really goes deep. And a lot of this shit is, it's mind, mind, fuck, mind shit. You know, your brain is, is, is like the most important organ of, of your brain. Like they know when they know how to mess with your psyche, they really know like what to do. And then it, it this is how like we basically have been so fucked up. And then on top of all the, the freaking um, illusions, these fucking reptilians and, and demons have put in, in place. It's hard. It's really hard. There's a lot of illusions out here. There's a lot of bullshit and all this kind of stuff. So uh, I just really wanted to share this out here. I wanted to share to you guys about, um, yeah, um, what what's what's really going on here. See, here's here's one thing they're talking about. The um, I assure the court that the illegal testing, development, and use of psychotronic microwave laser and other forms of electromagnetic uh, electromagnetic directed energy weaponry is a matter of grace concern to both the U S and international computer, uh, communities. These weapons are all potentially lethal, lethal, although sublethal injuries may be also inflicted with the use of any other lethal weapons, just knife gun or chemical poison assault and battery and or torture murder with any form of directed energy weapon is assault and battery and or torture stupid piece of shit oh my god sorry this stupid amber alert keeps coming and it's like i was making my video before it's like boom it's like oh my god all right so basically they're saying here yes this this what they're doing is they are assaulting us every single day so technically we do have our right to put our hands on them but oh no we'll go to jail if we do you know so um this is this is what it is and i want to i want to really put emphasis to this alien human hybrid breeding program i want to put emphasis on what's going on and what's being done to women out here you know so i just really want to share this video and um you know let me know what you guys think because i really would like to um you know talk further about this and chat about it yeah so um you know, this, this, um, petition, this change petition goes very well. Uh, I mean, it goes very long and it's, you know, really good information here. So, um, yeah. So I hope I was able to help anybody out in any kind of way. And thank you guys all so much for watching this video and have a good day.